Hey guys, welcome back to Kelly's Creations. I'm so glad you're here. So, floating candles is all over Instagram, all over TikTok. So I wanted to try it, but I couldn't find the actual floating candle. <laughs> um, so I decided to make my own. I had a bag of votive candles and I just popped them out of their metal container, which actually they come out very easy. And of course I kept the containers cause I might need those for a project, you never know. I flipped those candles upside down. I took a votive, lit it, kinda burned around the edges as well to really get the candle wax flowing. And I am going to melt that on the back of those votive candles that I popped out. We don't want the wick coming out into the water. So by doing this, it kind of seals the back of it. I'm going to show you a closer view here, but don't mind my wiggly camera is actually holding this, trying to film and yeah, we're a little wobbly. <laughs> so yeah, just take one votive and kind of melt that wax on the back of the other ones. That will seal the wick and the plate in place and then it won't pop off in your water. How cool is that? Oh my goodness. Um, if you have like another kind of candle, Feel free to melt that because these are small. <laughs> Don't burn yourself. So if you have a bigger candle, any kind of candle wax melted on the bottom of these, as long as it's the same color. You kind of want to, you don't want to melt red wax on the bottom of the white candle, of course, <laughs> but it works and just get it all around the edges, all around that metal plate and set these beauties aside to dry. You'll know when they're dry because they turn white. You can totally tell when the wax has dried. Look at that. You can make your own floating candles. I have a ton of these like little candles. I don't use them all the time now that we have battery operated ones. So yeah, it's good to utilize them. So Dollar Tree has icicles. How stinking cute are these? They come in three different sizes. Now I was able to find all three of the sizes in blue, but only two in white. So I thought I would need to like take my little pliers and rip the hanger off of them. Um, I thought I would need, well, yeah, you do need to use that to rip the hanger off, <laughs> but I thought you'd need to cut it. You don't. All you have to do is take your pliers and just kind of pop it off and it comes off really easy. So I am going to be using a lot of these little gems, the clear ones in this video. So I did grab a few bags of those because it helps hold everything in place. So the purpose of this video is to see how many different Dollar Tree like ornaments or items that I could use to make a floating candle. I've seen tons of TikTok videos, people using all different items, all different ornaments. Um, not every Dollar Tree sells everything. So what's accessible to me, of course, might not be accessible to you. So what this video is all about is showing you that just because you might not be able to find that exact item that you see somebody else using, other items can be used as well. And it still comes out so cute. So I started with one of these Dollar Tree candles. Um, I don't even know what you would call this glass. Don't expect me to tell you what all these glasses are called because I have no idea. <laughs> You're going to see a whole bunch of glasses <laughs> and I don't know what they're called. But what these look like is, you know, the tall white candles Dollar Tree sells. These are actually the glass with no candle in it, which is awesome. So I grabbed three of those and I put the icicles on the outside and I filled them up with pebbles and I added water. Now I put a few too many pebbles in right at this point. I did end up taking a few pebbles out so that the candle will actually float in the water. And it works guys, it floated. I'll show you that when I'm done with these next two candles. So for this one was super easy. I didn't have too many of the smaller clear icicles, but I did find a lot of the larger ones. So I just counted down and it was about five and I just broke them all with my hands. No tools necessary. And got them down into that glass 
and kind of position them around. What I'm going for here is for the candle itself to look like it froze. I want the water to look like it's forming icicles. So that was kind of my brainstorming behind these three candles. So this one's super easy. You break them, you throw them in there, you fill it with water, and you add your floating candle to the top so stinking cute guys oh my gosh i can't wait to show you when they're all done so this one i added some water and i found some of these blue gems and i i don't know what is you guys's favorite colors for christmas i absolutely love traditional red and green i love it but i also like certain rooms maybe having fun with and using colors like blues and silvers and white, of course. I absolutely love blue for Christmas. I just think it's so beautiful. Um, looks a little bit more high end to me, where red and green look vintage. And I, don't get me wrong, I absolutely, you guys know I love vintage, but it's kind of fun to take different rooms in the house and maybe do a different spin. So that's what you could do with this. This, these candles I'm about to show you in this video also make great candles to use as a tablescape oh my word you put these in the middle of your holiday dinner oh just oh, give that ambiance of warm cozy family oh i love it so this one i'm using the blue gems and the icicles and of course one of our homemade floating candles here they are guys Look how beautiful these are. It actually looks like the water's crystallizing, like it is cold and that water is just turning to ice. And I absolutely adore these candles. The light flickering adds some little fairy lights around your setting. Um, you could even put these on some snow and then add the fairy lights. There's so many ways to style these. But yeah, I love that the photos float. So you don't, I've, I couldn't find the floating candles in my stores near me, but I looked online and they're kind of pricey where you can get a bag of photos a lot cheaper. And here they are. I turned my light off. Here they are lit up. Yeah, this is just so pretty and so easy to make. Each candle cost you get 10 icicles in a pack so this is like under three dollars to make for each candle and yeah look at that so beautiful so let's have some more fun let's see what other items i can use from dollar tree to make some more floating candles so i could not find the flower vases that's what everybody seems to be using for these so i had to improvise and i grabbed four glasses different sizes um like i said earlier the whole point of this video is not everything is accessible to everybody at their dollar trees so you got to think outside the box and make it happen using the items that are available to you I didn't, the vases that are, everybody's using weren't available to me, so I grabbed four glasses I thought I could use. I grabbed one of these adorable red sleighs and just kind of used my wire cutters to cut it down. It wouldn't fit the way it was. Originally, I was going to leave the greenery on because I thought that would be cool, but it stood up too far and... I would, the candle, I didn't want it to catch on fire. It would have been above the water. So I just kept maneuvering and maneuvering with my wire cutters until I got the sleigh to fit inside that glass. I don't, this, it might be, a, I don't even know. This really isn't, that's really big to drink out of. So that must be like candy glass hole. I don't know. It, it was kind of large and I knew I wanted to put the sleigh in it. So I knew that would kind of work. So then I had the idea of maybe gluing that greenery to the inside. No, that wasn't going to work either. So I left the sleigh bare bones, took everything off of it, bent those legs down so that it would fit inside my glass. And then I grabbed my clear gems to weight it down. Um, you can 
see these in the water, but they disappear a little bit. You can still kind of see the gems, but it's not like it looks right now. So the fake snow, holy moly, just use a little bit. Oh my gosh. I dumped so much snow into this that, yeah, it was a mess. And I actually was going to leave that in the video, but you know, some of my mistakes just need to not be shown to everybody. <laughs> so yeah, look at, look at, look at, look at, oh, 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 no, no, Kelly, no, 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 no. All that fake snow just goes to the top. Yeah, don't do that. If you want to add some fake snow, just add a little bit. <laughs> but I just scooped some of it out and I added my floating candle and this is adorable, guys. Oh my gosh. Under that snow, you can see the sleigh. Some of the snow did stay at the bottom where I wanted it with the pebbles. And because this glass, whatever it is, <laughs> is so big, you could add probably three of these votive candles floating in it. And that would be super cute too. But yeah, I wouldn't say this is a 100% total success because I made so many mistakes along the way. But it is a success as far as it's so cute. And I would have used less snow. <laughs> so here we go. Different glass, different ornaments. Now these are um, squishy to mimic Christmas lights. Okay, so I thought because they were so big and they were so squishy that I could just squish them down into the glass and add some water, add my votive, voila, you know. We're done, easy peasy. So here I go, yes, oh, it's so beautiful with the water, the colors are vibrant. And then I'm done adding my water and poof. Yeah, they popped right up. <laughs> so, yeah, we had to take them out, empty the glass of water, and think of a way to get these little beauties to stay in the glass and not pop right back out because that would have been awful if they would have popped with the lit votive in there. <laughs> that wouldn't have been good. So I dried everything off. I grabbed my hot glue gun and I added some hot glue to the sides and the bottom. I just want them to stick. Um, now I know hot glue and glass are not friends. But I don't plan on, I plan on using this decor for this season. This isn't something I'm going to pack away. Um, I'm going to take them apart, which is why I was trying not to glue these pieces down. You know, I wanted to be able to separate them. And if I wanted to put them back together again and use them next year, I could. But I didn't want this to be a permanent fixture anyway. But... So that works. Where I'm going with it is, even though hot glue and glass aren't friends, this works. It will hold it down enough so that you can get your per your pebbles in there, add your water. The pebbles are helping to hold these down too, so I highly suggest using them. Put your water in there, put the votive in there, and yes. Even though it popped up the first time, I was able to secure it, and this is like one of my favorite ones, just because when you add the water, the ornaments, of course, look bigger in water. And that red is gorgeous. I don't think I'm going to really fully capture how pretty it is. But yeah, it's really pretty. That candle floats around on top. Oh my goodness. Look at that vibrant gold and red. If you're decorating traditional with red and green, and if you're doing a traditional tablescape and you put a few of these in the center, put some greenery, some fairy lights around, you would have the most beautiful table. What's also neat about these little ornaments is my store, they come in red and they come in blue. I don't know if they come in any other colors. Let me know if you've seen other colors, but here they are in blue and silver. And I think that would just be amazing to do another one just like that. 
So here's another glass. Here's another ornament. Like I said, I wanted the, it was, this was kind of like a fun experiment to see how many ornaments and how many different glasses I could use to make floating candles. So I absolutely adore this ornament. It is so cute. It's like a big bottle top and I love the silver edges. I love the little scene on top with the snowman in the blue. And this one is super easy. Now, because of the way the glass, is this a martini glass? I'm not sure. But because of the way the glass is, you add some pebbles to the bottom because you are going to be able to see that underneath and put that big oversized bottle cap on top and add water. Now, this one, the candles don't float because it's a smaller depth glass. The candles kind of sit on top of that bottle cap. And here I'm play, kind of playing around with it and seeing if one is good enough. I think I add up to like three candles on this. But then it covered the snowman. It covered Happy Holidays. So I was kind of just maneuvering the candles around, playing around. I still wanted a hint of the scenery that was on the bottle cap. So I decided to go with two. Happy Holidays does get covered but that cute little snowman and part of the Christmas tree still shows. So I thought that was super cute. And look at that. I love how you see the bottle cap on the side. That's why I chose this glass for it. And the pebbles to shimmer at the bottom. And then you can see the blue and the red and the cute little snowman on top. Like I said, you could just go with one. You don't have to use two candles. This would be super cute with one as well. So let's try another one. Now these did not come from Dollar Tree. These were on clearance at Target last year. And they were too cute to pass up. But the clearance price was $3. So they end up still actually being cheaper than Dollar Tree now. Because they're only a dollar a piece. So different candle, different ornament. The problem is this guy's too tall. So can't really put a floating candle in there when his head is sticking out of the glass. Now, if your Dollar Tree does sell the vases, this would be perfect because you could leave it all together and put it in one of those vases and you're done. I unfortunately had to amputate. And I really felt bad because this guy's super cute, but I wanted him as a floating candle and he wasn't working the way he was. So first I was just going to kind of just trim it. And then I realized that you can just pop this off. So that was a lot easier. I just popped the base off and tried that out. <laughs> yeah, he still wasn't tall enough. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so sorry I had to do this to him, but I had to grab my tool and I had to cut him off at the knees. <laughs> oh, the poor little soldier. So here we go. I tried just kind of trimming off just a little bit at a time. And this one, it was great. My tool worked perfectly when I went up a little higher because I did end up having to cut the little toy soldier off at the knees or he's not a soldier he's a nutcracker what am I thinking the little nutcracker at the knees um it was a little harder so I kind of took my tool and I squished it as hard as I could and then flipped it around and then it went right through so yeah my little nutcracker got cut down just a little bit that's how much shorter he is compared to the other guys. And I added sticky tack to the bottom because I did try hot glue and yeah, that wasn't working. Like I said, I didn't want these to be permanent. I want to be able to take them apart after the holiday season. Um, the only thing I didn't like about the sticky tack was it was blue. If I had this color green, I probably would have painted the sticky tack to match the nutcracker um but when it was all said and done you really didn't notice the blue too much anyway so i added some pebbles in there to help weight him down 
and added some water. This time I put a little bit of the snow inside the water, tried it that way um, to see if it wouldn't come just all, I wanted it to stay at the bottom too. Eh, some of it did, some of it came up. Um, yeah, I don't know, I just, I like the snow effect, I just don't like how it all rises to the top. So maybe use different snow. This was Dollar Tree snow. I don't know if that would be different or not. But I added water all the way to the top and put the floating candle in. And this one is so stinking cute, oh my gosh. If you used all three nutcrackers, the different colors, you would have three different candles. Like I said, my Dollar Tree, I had to use the glasses that I could. This is what was available to me. But every Dollar Tree has different styles, different kinds of glasses too. So yeah, next time you're at Dollar Tree, go to the glass section, grab a few glasses, go to the ornament section, pick out a few ornaments, and you can make your own floating candle. You don't have to pay those high prices for them. Grab some votives and make your own. Here is the four that I just did all together. Look at that, so cute. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to use these when I decorate my table for Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I had so much fun, so much fun making these candles. And like I said last week, I really, really, really am trying to hit 10,000 subscribers this year. So share it with your friends, guys. Share it on your social medias. And if you're new, welcome. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. I hope you enjoyed it enough to hit that like button and that subscribe button. I will have a video from now till Christmas every week of different Christmas DIYs. And I'm so excited. I love this time of year. I hope everybody is having a most blessed and wonderful week. And I'll be back next Tuesday. I love you all and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye y'all.